Hi everyone, The Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online and welcome to a first look at the Aegis release. So I just did the update. Um, here's my, my Isaac Exploration Ishtar poor thing. Uh, it's being hit by the Nerf Bat once again. Uh, although from what I read it's, it's mostly aimed at the Shield uh, 100MN um, Afterburner Ishtar. So uh, maybe it could still be fine, we'll see in just a moment. Uh, the patching process, not a problem, didn't even seem like it was uh, such a big patch and uh, I managed to get online from the first try, I didn't see any problems there. Uh, with the patch itself there are a few small problems that seem to be popping up, uh, for instance uh, the, um, the skill book for the Hecate has not been seeded. Uh, CCP is blaming that on, on the drifters but we all know uh, who's the real guilty party here, it's, uh, it's gonna be Galente bureaucracy. Uh, that gotta be a force that can delay absolutely anything. Um, but other than that, so far it seems to be going quite okay. So I'll just start my day the way I normally do. And uh, first thing of course is my PI. So let's take a quick look at that here. Um, this is quite full. And I actually have quite a bit of noble metals left in extra. Uh, so I'll stop this program. It's been less than 24 hours since I actually uh, did the PI here but we can quickly uh, redo this press submit and then move on to the next one so at least this is working um, the way it should from the looks of it I'm not going to bother with with putting the uh, the extractor heads in exact positions but this is basically my routine every day and let's see if HD hasn't screwed anything up too much so here comes the next planet Install that seem to be decently in line with each other around 300,000 units for each then we've got the next one here 183 4 Ooh, that's actually not so good I might really wanna wanna move these uh, stop program oh 145 but I can probably move these around over here a little bit get just a bit of a better result from this 170 181 there we go pretty much in line that's that's usually what I try to look for a uh, decent uh, balance between both raw materials so 150 and that's again 60 not a lot so not really that good or oh, 136 here well that's okay so that will do and then the final planet here a lot of coolants which are still going quite nicely on the market from my experience and 129 here not the greatest Let's see if I can maybe up that just a touch. Can I get over there? Yeah, good work. Bring all of this into the yellow. Yeah, definitely better hotspot here. And there we go. So that's my PI done and that still works and feels exactly as pre-patch. So let's uh, undock. Uh, but uh, yeah, of course I can't undock. Your modules are incorrectly fitted. So let's take a look here at the fitting. Let's see what they actually did to my uh, my poor little Ishtar. They took away a mid slot and uh, they added a low slot. So that's of course the problem here. Uh, it's my micro warp drive that they chose. But what makes the most sense, just get rid of the cargo scanner then. We'll put that in the item hanger. We'll put... There is already something in that location. No, there isn't. So let's put it in the item hanger then. And go back digging for that micro drive. I think um, it was this one. So that still works. Uh, power grid has been uh, nerfed a little bit as well, but that all still looks quite okay. And then let's take a comparison. I actually wrote it down yesterday. What was the DPS of my Ishtar before the patch? It was 778.9 and we were still at 739.9. So I only lost 50 DPS. Uh, it is almost 10%. So I'm not going to say that it is nothing, uh, but it still feels like my uh, my Ishtar is going to be able to do its job in high scale exploration quite nicely. And on top of that, I do get an extra low slot. So I, I could put uh, either more tank, but since uh, we get an extra low slot, let's put a drone damage amplifier in there. Uh, these have been nerfed a little bit, but then to bring... God damn it. I need more CPU for that. So then uh, let's take out this baby. Let's see if we can put you online now. Yes, and I can still get to 782 
0.8 DPS if I completely fill uh, the, the low slots with uh, 4 drone damage amplifiers, which is even more DPS. This is actually 4 DPS more or 3.9 DPS more than before the patch. So uh, it's really the shield Ishtar with the oversized um, micro drive or afterburner that has been nerfed and uh, my exploration Ishtar um, doesn't seem like it was actually nerfed. The extra low slot actually negates the nerf to the drone damage amplifier for me. If you have fewer of those because of the stacking penalties it should be even better. So if you go from two drone damage amplifiers to three, you should actually see a bigger increase in DPS uh, because of the extra low slot. I, the fitting though, my CPU, it's very low. I can't fit a cloak in here anymore, just like that. So I'm gonna have to run it without that, but uh, at least it's got options. You know, if we do get another war deck, I just replace this with one tanky uh module and uh, and then i can still put in the cloak in there so overall honestly the ishtar nerf for the the activity i use it for doesn't look like it's actually nerfed so let's uh, let's get out of here and let's do the final part of what i usually do when i first come online in eve online and that is of course my research jobs so let's go for industry here are the corp research jobs one of them can be delivered that means I gotta head over to my research center and there we will um, yeah, put in a new job just to keep the ball rolling there. But uh, that's quite interesting, you know, they did nerf the drone damage amplifier uh, a little bit, not that much. and uh, But the extra low slot actually opens uh, up the possibility for you to gain all of that DPS right back. So I'm not really sure how to think about it. I guess it's really the mobility that they're worried about and the possibility of having that very high DPS with sentry drones and a good shield tanked Ishtar as well. That combination can be a problem. But for my greedy high seek exploration Ishtar, this actually doesn't feel like a problem at all. The changes that they've done here. So just, uh, I don't know, take take one of the, um, one of the rig blueprints here and let us finish the material efficiency that's going to be five days 19 hours that's quite okay 10 out of 10 jobs are running once again so we're making full use of the POS and uh, this is all looking quite okay as well I can definitely play the game I saw no major problems with the Aegis patch release and uh, lucky for me my Ishtar actually improved a little bit by 3.9 DPS after the patch so there you go guys first look at the Aegis release I'm gonna go uh, play explore a little bit and uh, see if I can make some more videos thank you very much for watching I'll see you all next time